Welcome everyone back to my channel and I am back again today with another amazing video on my Blackstone griddle. So today what I'm going to show you is beer battered fish and chips on the Blackstone griddle. Let's do it. So first I'm going to get started with our potatoes. This is bass from the lake on the homestead. So the reason I'm doing the French fries first on the Blackstone griddle is because it takes longer. The fish takes no time. As soon as I'm finished cutting up these potatoes, I'm going to head outside and heat up the Blackstone griddle. Before I get these ready for the Blackstone, I like to add salt and pepper to my french fries. First things first, this is what I'm using to make my beer battered fish. It's Coors Light. The first rule of cooking outside on the Blackstone, when we cook, we sip. One thing I'd like to mention to you guys, if you have the Blackstone griddle, anything underneath like we have here right now, anything plastic needs to come off. So this is the grease. Actually, I want to let you guys know I'm using sunflower oil. And this is the sunflower oil that I used the last time that I cooked on the grill and deep fried french fries. So now I'm just going to fill them up just enough. One for my fries and one for my fish. And I also reuse this as I just had mentioned. On second thought, I'm going to use it all because once it cools down, I'm just going to pour it all back into this container. Tip number two, I almost forgot. Don't put anything really close to your griddle. Right here, there's already a significant amount of heat coming from that griddle. Don't want warm beer. This is definitely one of my favorite purchases this year. Probably my favorite, actually. And I want to let you know this oil is going to get hot enough to cook the fries and the fish. And another great thing about this, guys, first of all, you get to cook outside. How gorgeous of a day is it right here on the homestead? You don't need any other equipment. You just get your aluminum trays and your oil and you just do it outside. Gotta like it. And another way I'd like to test to know when your oil's ready. Guys, if that was ready, that would sizzle. All right, let's see where we're at. The great thing about doing this method on the griddle is if it spills over just a bit, it goes right onto the griddle. Fries, I'm guessing, is going to take a good 15 minutes. 
So I'm going to wait for about 15 minutes and then I'll put the fish on. So the recipe for the beer batter is self-rising flour and a half a teaspoon of salt and one cup of cold beer. Half a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to stir this before I add my beer to distribute evenly. And one cup of cold beer. and stir until well blended. Make sure your fish is not very wet. Pat it dry if you need to with some paper towel. And I'm just gonna drop the whole lot of fish into the bowl. Don't forget, this is the freshest you're gonna get. This was just caught yesterday. And we already know this oil is ready because it stayed on the grill. Because as you can see, already it's starting to float. Looking good. Try not to shake it around once you lay your fish down because you'll actually shake the batter off the fish. And also, once it starts to get a little brown, I'm gonna flip it over. Wow, this is so amazing. The fries have already started to turn brown. It's been 15 minutes so far, so I'm guessing another five and they'll be done. The fish is turning out beautifully. And check out that view. And after they turn brown, just give them a little flip. This doesn't take long at all. Hence why you wanna put your fries on well before. And once they're a nice golden brown, I'm gonna take them off. And what I like to do is to put a little bit of this really strong paper towel to catch any of the grease to absorb a little of it. Check out those fries. Blackstone griddle, fish and chips. So at this point, the fish is definitely cooked, but I do like mine a nice golden brown. Guys, check that out. Wow, am I excited to try this. I gotta say guys, they're very, very crispy. Now for the taste test. First the fries. Wow, it's absolutely delicious. And now for our fish. Mmm. Guys, I can honestly say I haven't had better battered fish in any pub or any other place. This is absolutely amazing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can't tell you enough how amazing that tastes. Absolutely delicious. Mosquitoes are out. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thanks for watching.